岡田さんあどうもすみませんいいえやっぱり寺田さんだ寺田さんレッツゴーオーブーデストーリーブリーフィー The scene is Yen's apartment building The day after Yen had a sukiyaki party with Miss Okada and two of his friends from the university First of all We see Yan's neighbor, Mr. Hori, and he's just about to set out on a long journey. We'll look more closely at the conversation between him and his son, Takeshi, and Mrs. Hori in What's New later in the program. Then, we see Yan's next door neighbor, Terada san, who banged on the door the night before. Terada san is leaving for work, still unfriendly as ever. But All this time, all that Yan has been able to think about is Miss Okada and what she said the night before. Miss Okada said that she was thinking of quitting her job and leaving Tokyo to go and live with her parents. What did Miss Okada imply by saying this? We'll find out in a later episode. But anyway, Miss Okada seems to be very much on Yan's mind. As he gives the rest of the cake she brought to the party to the Horis and sets out for the university. Finally, we saw some more of life in the Hori family as the children hurry off to school. That's basically what happened in today's episode. Let's start out by watching one of the scenes from today's episode again. Try to figure out what's going on. Could you guess what they were saying? Yan asked Mrs. Hori if her husband had set up work yet. Mrs. Hori told Yan that he had left already and that he said he was going to Nagasaki this time. Note this te at the end. She uses this little word te to indicate that she's reporting what somebody else, in this case her husband, has said. Let's go on and look at another scene where this te is used repeatedly. As you watch, try to guess what kind of exchange is taking place between Mr. Hori, Mrs. Hori, and their son, Takeshi. It seemed like an interesting conversation, didn't it? In this scene, Takeshi was telling his mother what his father had said by using te at the end of each sentence. Let's look at this conversation a little more closely. First, Mrs. Hori asked her husband where he was going by saying, Kyo wa, how about today? He answered, Nagasaki, but she couldn't hear him because of the loud noise of the truck's engine. So, Takeshi 
told her in a louder voice, but Takeshi didn't just say Nagasaki. Listen out for what else he said. Nagasaki だって Nagasaki だって Takeshi said, Nagasaki だって He said that that at the end to show that he was just reporting what his father had said. Let's watch a little bit further. Next, Mrs. Hori asked her husband when he would return, saying, Kairiwa? Mr. Hori answered that he'd probably come back the day after tomorrow. Asatte. How did Takeshi convey this to his mother? He said, Asatte datte. Again, he just picked out one word from his father's words and repeated it to his mother, saying, Datte at the end. So, as you've seen, you can pick out just the relevant word of what someone has said and report it to someone else by following it up with this datte. But be careful. Datte is rather informal. It's used in close relationships like between mother and child. But to be polite, it's better for you to use desde instead. Now, let's see some more examples of this kind of polite use of te. おかえりなさい。お疲れ様でした。はい、これお土産。どうもすいません。ねえ、あんたさん、これお土産ですって。え、お土産？あ、上野さん。はい。それからこれありがとう。あ、はい。お、これは何かな？あ、おまんじゅ